Hello Commanders and welcome to part 16 of the Rise of Austria series. Today in our invasion of Cuba, in today's operation, Operation Bermuda, where I am going to navally blockade all of the island of Cuba and start bombarding it to ashes. This naval blockade is going to be epic, led by my elite battle group, the scene of RAF. And uh, also we are going to try and launch our nuclear cruise missiles on the homeland cities of Cuba. Let's keep watching today's episode because it is going to be full of action. Just a small recap. In the last episode we declared war on Cuba because he was attacking Syria and I thought it was a golden chance for me. I can attack Cuba without worrying about Syria hitting my back because the enemy of your enemy is your friend. But what happened? Syria and Cuba declared peace between each other and later on Syria is asking me to not invade to not invade Cuba look at this can you not attack Cuba we are friends that was so quick that was so random from Syria he was um, that was actually childish I, I have to say but now I am under the danger of Syria turning on me and attacking me in the back especially that he is meters away from my capital Vienna so now I will try to invade Cuba quickly here I am trying to infiltrate his naval uh, forces in the Mediterranean Sea. You see that I am landing conventional cruise missiles on him. I killed already five destroyers and one cruisers from his uh, existing navies in the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, of course I will try to fortify my defenses in my capital Vienna from any, any uh, random attack from uh, Syria because I do not want to be backstabbed. Here my air force is patrolling over the Iberian Peninsula. There are a lot of air bases here that are under the rule of Cuba. So I'd like to uh, destroy all of his uh, infrastructures, especially the airfields and the, uh, uh, the air bases. Why? Because I do not want him to send any reinforcements uh, to Europe or to Africa like that. He will have to sail from Cuba to, um, to Europe. If he wants to invade me but with the naval blockade I am performing around him he will not be able to quit or exit Cuba here I am a little bit far from the from his Navy I'd like to go back to always give vision for my cruise missiles uh, to hit the target my uh, Spanish front is advancing with the combo of National Guards and mobile some launches and of course the airstrikes ahead to destroy any kind of defenses there okay a few seconds and the cruise missile is going to land let's see what will happen yahoo we killed his first task force composed of uh, three destroyers and two cruisers now remaining his elite battle group his naval officer i'd like to search for him where is he i don't know but i will keep scouting the mediterranean sea to locate him here are my other my other strike wing is going for the airfield in Libya there. Okay, we keep advancing. I see some support units here in Cuba. Maybe anti-missile systems, maybe mobile some launchers. We will see. Oh, there is um, an aircraft radar contact ahead of me. What is this? Maybe he is sending cruise missile. Maybe he is sending aircraft to attack me. I don't know. but. I'm relieved because my naval officer, my two stars admiral, has a uh, destructive on the air envelope. He has very good on the air. Okay, what Syria wants? I tell him that's too late. We can all be pals. Like, seriously? You can't be pals in Conflict of Nations, man. If you want to win this game, you need to attack everyone and kill everyone. Why Syria is delusional here? Why he is delusional? Bro. You have to take your chance and attack. And no, we are not going to be pals here. I'd like to win this game in solo. I want to establish the Austrian Empire and I want to kill everyone in this game. Okay, let's see. My on tier has, has been activated and it says that I attacked an on tier division. On tier division? Is he ferrying some on tier over me? Let's keep looking, let's keep looking about this aircraft radar, what is it? But if it is really some land forces being airlifted above me, whoa, he is, he is doomed because he is going to fly above my naval officer and it's going to be 
unfortunate for him because the Antia is going to kill him so bad, so bad. I'm passing uh, nearby the city of Santiago de Cuba. There are infantry there. In Camagüey there is uh, Antia and infantry also. I try to uh, get close to the city of Santa Clara because there is a naval base level 4. I'd like first to prioritize my attack on his naval defenses and later on I will focus on his land forces. Please don't attack Cuba. Bro, it's too late. No, I'm already on my way. I'm, I already declared war. I'm not going to stop now. No one can stop this invasion now. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Syria offering you peace to peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was expected. And yeah, it's a transport ring. <laughs> Level 6 motorized infantry and level 5 mobile sum launches. I was actually very smart to target that airfield. The sea boys, that was actually very smart because I knew ahead that he will... Whoa, look at this, boys. He changed his status from right of way to peace and war is declared between me and Syria, boys. Oh, wow. Now, officially, we have a two-front war. And the fifth transport wing is getting destroyed by my navy and everything is going actually very cute, very good. But uh, yeah, that was expected. In the comment section in the last video, a lot of you guys has warned me from a betrayer from uh, Syria. But well, he did not declare war actually, he changed his status from right of way to peace. And as long as I am crossing his lands, because my national guards, they are crossing to... Uh, used his airfield, war was automatically declared. So change of plans. Yeah, change of plans. I'm going back with my task force, but now to burn the homeland cities of Syria. I'm going to burn his cities to ashes. Oh wow. Oh wow. I cannot imagine how, how Syria is thinking. Like seriously, how? How he is thinking? Does he really think that Cuba is stronger than me? That he choose to side with Cuba better than me? Seriously? Okay, I will show everyone my wrath now. Now, everyone in this game is going to see the strength of the Austrian Empire, the strength of the Austrian Navy, and the strength of the Austrian Air Force. Okay, let's start bombarding the homeland cities of Cuba. In the city of Santiago de Cuba, he has uh, four level six motorized inventories. Well, looks like this is um, an interesting target for a nuclear cruise missile. Don't you think, boys? A nuke is going to be so good on that stack of motorized infantries. Okay, I'm so close to the naval base, but there are no ships. Let's bombard it. Let's destroy that naval base. And there are also another infantry division in Santa Clara. Okay, let's nuke Santiago de Cuba. I hope he doesn't have a lot of SAMs, because SAMs can intercept my uh, cruise missiles. Again, again, my Antia has been again. Oh yeah, his SAM has fallen from 9 motorized infantry and 1 mobile SAM launcher. He only have 3 motorized infantry now. That was, that was a huge blow for Cuba. Okay, okay, our nuke is going... Oh, you see, he is damaged. That means he has a lot of SAMs there. Yeah, like I saw, but luckily... It has landed and Santiago de Cuba it has been heavily destroyed. Okay, let's send another one on Camagüe. And let's see what will happen, boys. This is Operation Bermuda. A huge naval operation on the shores of Cuba. I, I hope that you are excited, boys. I hope that you are satisfied with today's episode. It was full of action. It was a strategical and... Um, very very important operation that is going to turn the tides of this game and improve the strength of the Austrian Empire look at that his cities they are going to be nuked one by one but sadly we are at the end of today's episode boys we are going to continue Operation Bermuda in the next episode see you boys and bye bye